learning outcome number two channel intermediaries and its functions who are the channel intermediaries and what are their functions we only discuss three types of channel members or channel intermediaries which is which are retailers wholesalers agent or a broker a retailer a pruncit a channel members a channel intermediary that sells mainly towards the consumers normally we as a consumer kita akan terus deal direct with the retailer number two is wholesaler pemboru they normally buy uh, products or goods directly from the manufacturer in in a box dalam bentuk pukal and then resell the products towards the retailer in a smaller quantity agent and broker these are different from retailer and wholesaler because they do not own the product as they just becoming some someone in the middle of the process either they will represent the manufacturer or they will or they will represent the uh, wholesaler or the retailer so they will facilitate the negotiation and so the process of distribution among the channel members normally agent or broker will only earn a commission what are the functions of channel intermediaries channel intermediaries will perform three function transactional function logistical function and facilitating uh, functions transactional functions means that they involve with the process of promoting contacting channel members negotiation between one members to another need to take the risk of the buying and selling process examples like when wholesaler buy from the manufacturer in the huge quantity so they will take the risk of the product before they sell the product to the retailers and of course as product when from one place to another the second function is a logistical function which is the transportation distribution storing and sorting of the product through the distribution process this is to make sure that the product will arrive to the consumers uh, when the consumers want to buy the products this involve the process of physically distributing the products storing the products sorting the products from one place to another and then the third function is facilitating of doing the research and financing research means that they need to understand what about how are the current demand of the consumers how many stock that they want to keep in order to meet with the customers not to overstock and also not to understock means that when the consumer want the product the product is ready and available so this kind of research that the channel members must did financing means that they need to have money in order to cap the good because normally when it comes to transaction from one channel member to another it involve a lot of money so that is meant by financing functions